Hey guys, it's Serena Math Person, and I'll be going over question 154 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, as a major attempt, let's just dive right in. So you can a player wins if the specified points in a blue sector. So you can only win when you get not red, which is not red, right? And then for this one right here, let's say like i is equal to like one, you can't have r is equal to i is equal to zero you can't have zero red sectors so because of that i has to start at one so then this is technically the same thing as saying like nine over twenty plus the probability then if i is equal to two would be nine over twenty squared plus nine over twenty cubed so on so on until nine over twenty n so this is exactly just a geometric sum series summing up from i is equal to 1 to infinity of 9 over 20 to the i. Do you agree? Because if I plug in 1 here, you're going to get 920. If I plug in 2 here, you're going to get 920, 9 over 20. Mm -hmm. So this is by the formula. Since this is starting from 1, the formula is equal to a1 times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. So our initial formula here, initial is 9 over 20. Our rate is also 9 over 20, 9 over 20 to the n power over 1 minus 9 over 20. So this is equal to 9 over 20 outside, 1 minus 9 over 20 n over 1 minus 9 over 20, that's just 11 over 20. This is equal to 9 over 11 times 1 minus 9 over 20 to the n. But so how can you win? You can win with 1 minus this, right? 1 minus 9 over 11 times 1 minus 9 over 20. And, and you want this, you want the po probability of player winning to be less than 0.2. So you want this to be less than 0.2. So bringing this over to the other side, you get 0.8 is less than 9 over 11. 1 minus 9 over 20 n. I'm going to multiply this side by 11 over 9. 0 0.8 times 11 over 9 is 44, 45 is less than 1 minus 9 over 20 n. So now I can bring the 9 over 20 to the second. 9 over 20 to the n is less than 1 minus 44 over 45. So that's 9 over 20 to the n is less than 1 over 45. Taking the natural log to bring this down, you get n natural log of 9 over 20 is less than natural log of 1 over 45. So I'm going to divide this both sides by a natural log of 9 over 20. So it's n is greater than natural log of 1 over 45 divided by the natural log of 9 over 20. And that's because we switch the signs whenever a value is negative and um, not inside of a natural log, if it's less than 1, then we know that that value is going to be negative. So that's one of the reasons why we have to switch that sign. So then you get that n has to be greater than 4.767, which is means n has to be 5, our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!